Okay, yeah. Jeez, All right. That makes it more authentic and realistic, right? What's your name? I'm Naz. Naz? Yeah. How old are you, Naz? 26. Okay. What's your current situation? Well, to be honest, I'm not To be honest. You're currently homeless? Yeah, I've been homeless. Like, last, not last Christmas. The, last, the Christmas before last. And to be fair and to be honest, it was like, I didn't really like come to the realization of it first until it got really cold this year, no, last Christmas. And I was like, Basically, I have All right, health so in it. are you like a couple? Yeah. Yeah. This, he's, he, here's the reason why I'm getting. He, why, why? Yeah, how long have you two been together? Um, for an altruistically golden time. <laughs> for a time that could couldn't be told because we don't yeah. so you're both like you electronic know. people we live in life of 70s we don't even remember how long but yeah like Me? three months two months two, two months yeah two months. so where are you originally from um, originally here yeah, Colombia. Peckham. Uh, Peckham. Peckham you're originally yeah. from Peckham, Peckham. <laughs> okay right. well, well my background is a bit long to explain okay so <laughs> How exactly do you end up homeless? Well, um, if you are like quite a vulnerable person, quite weak minded, at the time when I was, at the time I probably am still, becoming brainwashed by a, a guy very toxic and very abusive, and mentally, emotionally, and physically. And until you have the, the you have unexpected, uh, unplanned, unexpected like expected pregnancies, have a child, have children, have them taken away from you because you get back with the father who comes and puts you in hospital and you have to learn less from that. Alright, so you was in a get lost. Um, relationship before this and what happened, do you have kids? Yeah, my son is a good thing. Alright, how many kids do you have? I just have two boys. Two. I haven't seen them since. So you don't, you don't see them anymore? Well, they've, since they've been adopted, I've lost complete, like, just everything. It's like God just took everything away from okay, me at the so, same time. Yeah. My phone, my house, everything. So I'm just, it's like I've not even had a chance, I didn't really get a chance to say goodbye properly. Like, I did, but I didn't at the same time. I feel like, I feel like I've had no justice. Like, they, they, they actually gave me no choice. They didn't give me nothing. Alright, what, to what do you think led to that? Keep it. What do you think led to them, you know, taking away your kids? Like I said, being vulnerable, get back with their dad. He kept abusing me and putting me in hospital. And physically, emotionally and mentally abusing me. It was not an environment for any child. Any child to be around. No child should grow up. No, no human should be coming into the world watching their parents kill each other, basically. Like, you know, abuse, like, watching their father beat up their mum, who does, who's doing everything for them, who's the best mum, who literally just was just trying to just be happy and just do everything right, trying to keep them think how I thought they should be. But, All right, so using like, you know, a abusive relationship, and then that led to the breakdown. Yeah. And yeah. you lost your yeah. kids due to that. Yeah, getting back with them and hiding it from the government, and then they're finding out, and then they're... yeah. yeah. So like, do you take any drugs? I started to take drugs. Yes, when yeah. I lost my when I lost my kids. When you lost your kids? Not lost, not lost. But they're not lost, but obviously they're now in the actual. They're in a safe. They're they're in a better place. Than they were. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, yeah. I mean. No, but I just what? grew up here. <clears throat> what drugs like, look where I say? am. Look where we are. What, what drugs do you, would you say like you use? I don't really tell. I think that's a bit personal. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wouldn't like to go into that? No. no? Okay. If if any if any of any of the, you the guys that are watching this right now. 
know about life on the streets and what kind of drugs you get thrown in your face. So, like, you have no choice, it's just handed to you on the plate around the corner and just every corner you turn, then you probably know what. It's not nothing to be proud of. <laughs> but I really hope this is a phase and I hope that I do get home, home to the shelter. Yeah. So what are you gonna do like to survive out here? I take drugs. Take drugs. <laughs> In terms of like you know, getting something to eat, stuff like that. Yeah, like a big, a spot big as well. Yeah. How does that usually I go? I tend to do very dangerous well? things that up that is putting my health at risk. As well. Just, just to feed my habit to keep myself awake. Okay. So when you do obtain money, do you mostly spend it on drugs? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'm an honest person, so I'll just stay, stay straight. I don't like it. How about like when it comes to like food and somewhere to stay? I always make sure I eat. No, that's one thing I, that's one thing I don't forget about, is eating. Yeah. I love to eat. I love okay. food. What kind of things do you like encounter on the streets, like being homeless? Oh. Uh, well, you get like really like, you get mental people, man. Like that. If you're, if you're, basically me, I'm okay because I'm. It's like I kind of like grew up streetwise in a way. Being in Peckham and having family live in like every spot of corner, like in blocks and stuff like that. Growing up, having a community, like friendly kind of community, where you made friends that were like just about enough friends. That had your back but now don't because like we're in a generation now you can't trust nobody you just get surprised and disappointed every day now yeah. certain people and you're just like get learned lessons to lessons learned and lessons built you know life's full of blessings and lessons okay so how would you say like you know homelessness has affected your mental health and physical health no it's cold out here man we're in London. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like, I'm, cold, I'm cold. such an awkward person. Like, cause it's, oh my it's, God. But, um, yeah. It affects me because I, 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 I constantly rely on nicotine as well to relieve my stress as well as much as me. So the drugs kind of like help you with the stress on the, you know, yeah. on the streets? Like, look, so I'm trying to pick up, like, obviously picking up butts off the floor because I can't afford cigarettes. Cigarettes are so expensive. So, um, I mean, it's actually my payday today, so that's why I'm a bit like, <laughs> but like, to be honest, like, most of the time I've got red eyes from like crying all the time. In it, in it, I'm always crying. Yeah. What was you kind of like doing before you became homeless? I was a mum. Sorry. I was a mum. You was a mum. Yeah. Was you like working at all? No. No. <laughs> yeah. What was it like growing up? Yeah, it was. It was. I, was, was I, I did have a job at, uh, at this government building in Costa. Yeah. What was it like growing up? I had a good childhood, I think. A good childhood. Yeah. Every every summer holiday, my dad took us to a Caribbean island. Because my mum's part Dominican Caribbean. Okay. So we had family. I had family in Tiga, St. Lucia, St. Kitts, St. Navis, and the Dominica, which is originally oh, yes. not Dominican Republic, though. And that's the Spanish Republic. I'm talking about the pattern of spoken French speakers of like, like Caribbean. Yeah. Okay. Do you still like heaven have on earth? With I was family? a I was a kid. I was a kid those times, and I still remember vividly my memories because it was so colourful and paradise, like, heavenly, yeah. and mesmerising. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have like contact with your family? No, not really. Well, I just bought a phone now, finally. So <laughs> <I> should, <laughs> that should one, do that now. One, yeah, now, one, yeah. yeah. Can we be done with the mouth? I'm sorry. I think you're Do you have any like, skills or talents that you wish the world would know? I, I, apparently, I can sing. Can you give us a little song? Dile! Can you give us a little something? I don't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> what song? What song do you know the lyrics to? <laughs> it's the Shakira. Okay, so you know it's Shakira songs. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. If you could have like three wishes, what would it be? It would be to just keep manifesting positivity and erase the negativity, man. Erase the things you don't want to happen. We get rid of the people that constantly talk about what you don't want to happen and hope this people keep the hope up. I wish for hope to keep up. I wish for positivity to increase. Energy. Oh, energy, yes, yes. See, right. see. It's amazing. Any last fruits? Fruits should, fruits should decrease in price as well. We need to be like affording food yeah. that we actually need. You know. Any like last words you wanna share? Mm. Can you um, can you give us some money? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're home. We need money. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.